reverie is a futuristic emotional portal where dreams can be realized. It's the ultimate wish fulfillment and you have this opportunity by doing it in uh, gaming, human gaming. Monica Shaw is an investor in Anira Tech. She represents the Department of Defense. I have a light and dark side of my character and I have my own intimate vested interest in Mara Kent. She's the one that we've been waiting for. What I was so attracted to about the Monica Shaw character is that she really represents the light and the dark side of moral and ethical questions. She represents the dark and the light side of the government. We all love social media. We all love having surveillance and technology. We all love an iPhone. We all love being able to write something on your phone and then it's on your computer later or you can FaceTime with your kids. But what are the consequences for some of that technology? What, is, what happens when there's a separation between human one-on-one -on -one contact? So, you know, for me, um, I, I love the duality of Monica Shaw in that she has her own motives. She's a powerful woman and she also knows how to manipulate and be persuasive for the benefit of the government and also for herself. I think she has the potential to be a true villain, but of course, a lovable villain. <laughs> Sci-fi so often makes the wrong turn of being robotic, but in this case, I think that the wish fulfillment, the most intimate nature you know when you have a dream and you wake up in the middle of that wonderful dream and you say, oh, I'm going to go back to sleep. I want to stay in that dream. So reverie is the continuation, that loop of wish fulfillment. However, there is always a consequence. Mara Kent is such an amazing character and she, for the government and for Charlie Ventana and our history together is she is really the one that we've been waiting for. She has all those chinks in her armor. She has all of that mm, heightened vulnerability that's just so delicious for Monica Shaw because she knows that she can just get right in there and use her for the purposes. I mean, she is a stealth soldier, an emotional warrior, and Monica knows that she can manipulate that to use it however she wants. Mara's skill as a negotiator will really just push the limits of the human condition in the reveries. And um, that will be great for the audiences to see, you know, how far can the human condition be shoved in these circumstances where they, they have to make a moral, ethical decision. When we watch as viewers, what would we do in a reverie? What what kind of choice would we make? Are we going to stay there or are we going to come back out and deal with the matters at hand? What do we learn when we come out of a reverie? Um, and what does Mara learn from being in this loop of other people's lives? She doesn't, how is she attending to her own life? How does she decompress? 